So can you run your Uber app through that screen or no? Is no, that... I cannot, <laughs> unfortunately. But that's okay because I get a lot more data and information here than I yeah. do through the Uber app. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, I test drove one of these uh, about six months ago. Oh yeah? Yeah, I really, I, I was blown away. I had heard they were cool, but I, I had not driven them. Yeah, they're nice cars. Well, and they accelerate. I, that was the thing that blew me away. <laughs> yes. The acceleration. Um, Did you go right. to school in the city or work in the city? No, so I actually grew up in Michigan. I lived a little bit in Texas but spent a lot of time in Michigan. My parents are from Michigan. I went to the University of Michigan. Okay, and now you're in Chicago? Yes, so I work for an electrical distributor in the Chicago area. We actually sell robots. <laughs> you mentioned robots. Oh yeah. Yeah, so we sell elect electrical components for factories for manufacturing. Oh, cool. Yeah, so I just signed up for Uber. At this is actually my first day doing Uber. You no, guys right. are probably like my fourth trip today. Wow, well, it's, it's <laughs> not that common to get a Tesla. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd sign up for it. I'm very interested in communicating with people on yeah. the technology in yeah. the cars. And yep. I'm one of the 100,000 people in the states that has this full self-driving beta software. Oh, that's so very cool. The visualizations you see here, are very unique, like not very many people. No, 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 that's amazing. That was the other thing I was impressed by when the when I did the test drive. Um, but it wasn't, it wasn't anything like this. I see. I mean, it was still pretty cool, but it wasn't, it wasn't like that. That's amazing. <laughs> right. So here's a. This car has their door open. This yeah. they just added this last week. Yeah. For the first time. Well, it's amazing. I thought they had to go off of striping or reflectors or something I didn't know that they could I guess they're just sensing off all sorts of uh, this guy's gonna reverse on you yeah I mean the just the idiocy of your average human driver I don't know how you uh, factor that in I mean right <laughs> there's not enough sensors on the planet <laughs> So what's the longest stretch you'll go without having to really touch the wheel, you think? Uh, usually I can go, uh, it depends on the environment. So, you know, if you're in, in a very busy city, um, yeah. you have to touch it pretty frequently because yeah. it will, the biggest thing is it, it just can annoy other people around you. Right. So if somebody is right on your butt, yeah. The car, and the car does something stupid. Feet, you really don't want to, to be a nuisance. Yeah. So you end up intervening a lot more in those environments. Mm -hmm. But in the suburbs, which is where I live, um, I can go easily 20, 30 minutes without having to touch the, having wheel. To touch the wheel. Now wow, turn right onto amazing. East 47th Street. See, like this, uh, I thought he was about to come out on here. Yeah. So, there it actually should have turned right, which is interesting because it actually missed that right turn. Oh, that is interesting. Yeah, and I don't know why it did that. So it, it's going to reroute. And we'll just... Now turn yeah. right onto East 46th Street. Yeah. So Not... is the car, you're, you're driving it, right? Or no, it... he's, he's got his hands like hovering the wheel. It's so... Yeah, so so I'll turn, so... It, I'll turn it on here and it, it will drive itself. So once you double tap down that In blue steering wheel, no, it's turn indicates it's driving South itself. Park Avenue. So, <laughs> yeah, that was a little close for my company. That was a little bit close. So I'm ready to take over. Yeah. I've been driving this for a while, so I kind of know its limits. Yeah. But yeah, if you guys are uncomfortable, of course I can stop using it. Once we get on the highway, it will be very smooth sailing. Sometimes these side streets are a little bit awkward. Yeah. So I'm driving manually right now. Yeah. Took him up here and to get on 47th Avenue. 47th yeah. 500 feet, bear left onto East 47th Street. So can this car merge onto the highway? 
self-driving? Yes, it can. So I'll, I'll turn it on and you'll see how it can do this. Uh, I typically have to speed it up. So I'm increasing the speed right now just to make it extra smooth. But yeah, it, so this visualization right now, it's in the street mode, which is one software stack. And now it changed. So now it's in the highway stack, which is a lot more proven. It's been out in the public for four, five, actually six years. Yeah. Puts you at puts the driver at ease, but you still need to pay attention because there's a yeah. cabin camera that tracks the the eyes of the driver, and then every so often it will ask for feedback on the steering wheel to make sure that you're there. Okay. <laughs> so right now it's trying to initiate a lane change and it's asking me for feedback. So I just tap the. So is that like um, if you were to nod off, it would it would see it because I, I know in uh, commercial trucking they've got sensors for the drivers that they start to get s sleepy and they yes. start to nod off or they're you know they're looking drowsy. They're so I don't, I'm not sure what they're queuing off. Right. Their yes. Chin dropping or their eyelids starting to you know. Right. Um, it's usually a combination of those. Yes. Yeah, I, th I think the, the way it can sense the other vehicles on the road and then visualize them in the dashboard or this display is very cool. Yeah, it's, it's come a long way. It's really impressive to me how much the cars can do now. So is, is this a GoPro that you have that's filming it? Yes, yes, I'm filming the, the road. So I... I have a, a YouTube channel, Tech Geek Tesla, and I um, publish videos on there. And depending on your comfort level, I, I'm trying to get some interactions with people who have never seen this offer before. So I have this camera filming right now. Of course, if you don't want me to use any footage, that's fine. <laughs> but as long as uh, there are no names. Sure, yeah. sure, sure. Yeah, and I can blur out your faces too. Not a problem. Uh, I mean, I'm fine. It's just okay. As long as, as long as as long as it's not linked to an identity. Yeah, sure, 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 absolutely. Oh, it actually was doing the right thing and staying in this lane. I, yeah. I got nervous because of that car merging. It's all right. <laughs> yeah, I go back and forth. I've worked in encryption technology for 20 years, and so. Oh, did you really? I, yeah. So, I. Uh, I'm torn. I mean, I actually have an, deliberately a 2006 manual Saab. Oh, no kidding. Very little electronics. Yeah. Because um, I'm just old school that way. Sure. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, my manager at, at, at my work, he wants to have nothing to do with a self-driving car. He likes driving manually. Well, I, yeah, I, I grew up driving sticks. I've only owned sticks. I've, ne I've never owned even an automatic car. So a self-driving car for me, although I think it'd be cool. I mean, I, I but it's just, uh, yeah. Right. <laughs> I never made the leap to an automatic transmission. I see. Oh, so you still have a stick shift? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. That's how I, that's what I learned when I was in driver's ed. Yep. So it says, I know that like, the speed, everybody goes over the speed limit here, so it's 45. Yes. So are you pushing it up? Yes, I, I pushed it up to 77 because okay. nobody drives the speed limit. No, in yeah, I was just curious if, yeah. if you helped it figure out what to actually drive. Yes. <laughs> well, that's an interesting, um, that'd be an interesting liability issue because if they, well, I don't know how it would work legally, you know, if you were in automatic mode, speeding, someone died you know is that going to Tesla or did they just nail you personally for that I mean yeah there's a lot of fine print they they actually nail the driver it's not Tesla's fault and they specifically label the software as beta to avoid any liabilities which is unfortunate for the drivers that are using it but that's something we are very whoa, whoa. Whoa. An asshole. yeah that's something we're very aware of so I've been using this software for three plus years so this is a 2019 model three uh -huh. so i'm very comfortable with knowing the limits and knowing what it can and can't do and when i should take over and when yeah. I, I don't need to it's like, I mean, the, the amount of data that is moving around is just i can't even imagine 
Right. Yeah. Right. What's What's I mean, cool is that it, when I get home and I connect to Wi, when the car connects to my Wi-Fi, yeah, it just pumps all this video feedback over yeah. to Tesla. No, it's it's. I mean, it's just an incredible amount of data. That right. They are, um, but it's cool because they can refine their systems with every with every upload. Right. Yeah. The, the feedback helps, and then if if there's ever an issue, there's a little camera button on here. Yep. I tap on that, and then they'll um, supposedly look at it. But they're so busy; it's, I can't imagine the hours those software engineers are putting in. I mean, it's crazy. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, I can't. Like, yeah. It's it's <laughs> kind of mind-boggling. Just it the, is. The terabytes and terabytes and terabytes. It's a data that just probably one car generates in a day. Right. Now turn left onto South Cicero Avenue. Well, cool. It's fun to be part of your beta test. I, I really had no idea that it was this advanced already. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool stuff. I'm enjoying it. So they have 100,000 vehicles out on the road doing something similar to what you're doing? Yes, yes. Well, 100,000 have received it, but estimates are around 75,000 that are actually using it. Huh. Yeah, they just let a whole bunch of new people in. It, it scares the crap out of me because there's so many skeptics that want to... Oh, sabotage. You know, put them, exactly. Put them in the news and say Tesla created this accident or Tesla did this. So yep. they're very vulnerable right now. So it, it just impresses me that they're able to release this. But I think if, the, if their cars weren't so damn expensive, um, there would probably be more accidents. <laughs> but people, let, they love their cars. So yeah. they're just not going to let the car crash. Yeah. So and, and there's a lot of disclaimers when you start using this software, uh -huh. and before you can get it, they have you go through a safety score test, which takes a month or more of driving around, and you have to basically drive like a really, really, really old person, and <laughs> slow yep. down, and you know, no heavy braking, and yep. you know, no heavy, no quick turns. Yep. And if you um, get a score of 99 or higher, then you can get let in. That's, that's good. Well, that's a little reassuring. Yes, yes. So they're very picky about who gets in and who doesn't. They should be. Right. But <laughs> some people, I'm sure, are also kind of gaming the system. Like, oh, I'll drive safe just now. And then once I get in, I'll, I'll go back to my maniac driving. Style. Yeah, I, I think, you know, that is inevitable that there's at least one of those right, right out of the hundred thousand right. people but yeah, you know depending on what happens you can probably connect the dots and figure out that the person right <laughs> well it sees the bicycle too <laughs> right you can see big stuff on the road like if a tire came off no it can't Road debris would be a big one, yeah. Right, there's so many edge cases. I can't imagine having to program stuff. Like if a pole fell on the road, I don't think it would see that. Well, yeah, we just have to like scan the surface of the road in front of you and see right. if there's a foreign object. Right? <laughs> or even nasty potholes would be another one that'd be tough to find. Right. Yeah, potholes always make me nervous. You always have to take over there. Well, this has been the weirdest. So I was only in town for the weekend, and I've had I took a couple of Ubers each day, or Lyfts or whatnot, and I've had the strangest combination of cars. I mean, this is really? the nicest one. I was in two very nice, clean ones, brand new almost, and I was in a complete heap of trash <laughs> with a giant like it was missing hubcaps, huge, looked like they dragged their car oh, along. No. The Telephone pole. <laughs> like, it was all beat up on the inside. Oh, like no. an old gypsy cow. Like, <laughs> what is this thing? Thank you so much. You are welcome.